Welcome to the Clinical Skills Classroom in Trotter Hall. My name is Susan Rose, and I am a veterinary nurse that has been here at the vet school since 1991. <laughs> uh, but right now, I am uh, one of the instructors in the Clinical Skills Laboratory, which is a reasonably new course that the school is offering now. It's one of the um, Kind of a new idea in vet schools to kind of get more hands-on or um, what appears to be more practical learning instead of just in the classroom but I mean it's all very practical but here we apply it uh, with some hand skills as well as practicing some other professional skills and what's really cool about this class is the very first week of your freshman year you're in here with us and we're working, uh, teaching you these skills. And you will be in working with us in our class for two years. So we'll get to know each other really well, which is really fun. But this is our space. Like I said, we're in uh, Trotter Hall, just outside of the Student Success Center. And we seat half of the class in here at a time. We have all sorts of uh, different types of things going on here. So everything from communication skills, talking to the owners, talking to staff, but then the things that people really like to do, which is learning some of those surgery skills, the physical exam skills. We'll have a couple live animal labs, but before that, we'll wanna start having some models. Uh, so we want everybody to be kind of on the same page. We appreciate that you're coming with different experiences. Maybe you've only worked with large animals, Maybe you've only done small animal, and you need to learn uh, all the species here. So we try to teach everybody the very basics, so everyone moves on towards the clinics with the same basic skills. So we have some, again, some various models of horses and cattle. Um, we have these small ruminant heads for teaching some um, injection and bleeding techniques. We teach you how to do some very basic things like putting on halters or blankets on horses, bandaging. Uh, we have some small animal models. Some of again, some of them we purchase, and some of them I build uh, here in house. So we have, um, you know, this is Toto from Kansas, <laughs> one of the model dogs that I made, um, and uh, yeah, we even have model back ends of dogs uh, to teach rectal palpations. Uh, we have various models to practice venipuncture and putting in catheters and just kind of learning that uh, hand-eye coordination to do those things. We do some things with stuffed animals, so you can come to vet school and still play with stuffed animals. And we can, here's a case where I'm giving it a wound that can be practiced on suturing. We're building on skills. So we start with you as freshmen and we kind of build those foundations and we're adding layers and opportunities for you to kind of build to more advanced skills before actually getting to the junior year where you're actually going to be doing live animal uh, spays and castrations, but also anesthesia. So in this class, we'll introduce uh, an anesthesia machine to you. So uh, we, I will teach you all the pieces, parts, how to put together, how to make it work, and how they work, and how to control it. And then we don't have live animals to use in class to teach you anesthesia, but we do have these very high-tech uh, live cast models to work and teach you how to place endotracheal tubes and connect them to an anesthesia machine. So you can practice those sorts of skills here so then when you are a third year student, you at least are familiar with the equipment and the steps that you need to do. So that's kind of how this class works. It's preparing you for some of those live animal, higher stakes jobs that you're gonna do later on in your education. So over on this side of the classroom, we're changing to some new equipment that we recently acquired, thanks to IDEX. This is a very common uh, suite of instruments that are used in private practice for looking at blood and urine analysis. And so we are now incorporating that into our curriculum to teach you how to use it. And that, as we are often doing with other courses, is we're kind of teaching some, a skill in this class to enhance what's maybe being taught in another class in either a lecture or a lab so that we do have, again, uh, coordination 
of layered learning that's going on between different courses. So this is uh, again the uh, blood and urine suite that we are teaching you how to use. We also have what we call a fake pharmacy here. And this is kind of a fun thing because we try to get some problem solving skills for you as well. And so we often are using cases for you to problem solve through. And so this gives us an opportunity for you to look at different kinds of medication. How is it packaged? How would you calculate the dose? So we do math in here, calculating doses and things like that. And then which type, if you, if two medications are similar, which one would be better for this animal? What pill size or a liquid or an injection? So we use these uh, empty uh, pill and uh, injection bottles for you to use and get familiar with packaging and uh, dispensing different kinds of drugs. A really great asset to this classroom is that students will have 24-7 access to all the teaching models that we have. So this way a student is not comfortable with one of the skills that maybe they practiced a while ago or in a different year. They can come in this storeroom and check out any one of these uh, pieces of equipment or models that we have in here and then go back in the classroom and practice with in a small group or on their own until they feel comfortable. So our goal is that by the time you are going to go to clinical practice in the third year and in the fourth year, you're, you feel ready, you feel confident with those very basic skills that we can teach you here.